biggest consequences besides besides courts and, and monetary um, fines is the fact that you have to live forever, the fact that you've, you've killed someone, killed a friend, and that you, you, you've injured some other friends. So we're now making this uh, little sign on the convertible. Let's throw it right over the doors. There we go. You know, DWI and probably a series of other charges. He's convicted. If he's found guilty of what he was charged with, there's consequences Consequences there. One would be a possible fine from anywhere from five to $10,000. Yep. So you're going to have to, to put an interlock device in any vehicle that, that you operate. And basically what you have to do is it's exactly like the Elka sensor or the pre-screen. You're going to have to blow into it before the vehicle will even start for you. And to show that you haven't been drinking, you don't have any alcohol in your system, and I believe that's about a $2,000 charge to get that installed installed in your car. There's also the possibility of, of jail time or prison time from this, so there's a lot of other consequences. And were you just were a witness to this, or yep. where exactly were you when this all happened? I was just walking down the sidewalk over there when I saw the black car driving recklessly. What do you mean by reckless? Uh, they were speeding, they were kind of uh, going between the lines, okay. a little everywhere. So if you listen right there, they were commanded at the time for Mercy Flight, they were still at the hospital. So they're still another half an hour, 20 minutes away. At this point, the EMS crew has made the decision. If you see the dash rolled off the top of the victim, perfect. They've now laid her flat. They're going to initiate a backboard. Yeah, we're going to get her out of there. The EMS crew is now going to go to the next level of care. They're going to be talking, you know, giving the victim fluids and giving them the best care possible to make them to the hospital and to make them comfortable. I drop the tools. Watch your leg, but We had, the car had three people in it, in it, passenger was deceased, the rear passenger was in a comatose status, and currently is in the same back in Canada. As you can see, the person that was the driver was drunk and 22 years old. Now, so this does happen. We're not so much worried about you getting to the prom, the principal and the teachers keep a good handle on that. This is after parties. The guys got to make smart decisions. We're not here just to scare you, but it does happen in Leroy. And the last thing you guys want to see is me and our guys on Saturday night. Hey, you gotta go up a little bit. At this point in time, he's gonna be transported to the Monroe County Coroner. So how do you guys think this happened today? Obviously, we determined that it was a drunk driver, but how else could this happen? Distracted driving. You know, what are you guys doing right now? She's on her cell phone. You know, that could that can happen. 
falling asleep on the drive. There we go, see? He, right? So, like you said, it could be more than just DWI, it could be anything in the distracted group. Um, and unfortunately, it's happening at alarming rates across the country. So, like I said at the beginning, today was, was not just for tomorrow night, but to, uh, today was for the rest of your life, to just put this in your mind of the things that can happen um, and how lives are changed with poor decisions. And those poor decisions are, are quick decisions. Yeah, I'll get in the car and go with you. Or yeah, I'm good to drive. And it's just that one second, you know, can change, you know, the life for the rest of your life. So um, I can't thank this team enough that's uh, standing here and assembled. If anything, one thing you got from today is how good these guys are. I mean, these guys are the real deal. Let's give them a round of applause. pretty special to live in a community where we have volunteers that can come and open up a car, get people out of here, and get people taken care of that quickly.